in the air. And God, the big wicket. Surely that must be it for England here. The dangerous chance of Paul trying to whip a ball on the onside. Got a front edge. They couldn't lose it from here, surely. Look who it is again, Collingwood. Come and have a ball and he's picked up two for ten. They don't get any bigger than this. We just talked about Chander Paul being the key to the game for both sides. Thick outside edge. We've seen that before today. A leaping fielder in the outer. Michael Vaughan. Look at the joy there. England closing in on this Champions Trophy. Chander Paul has gone. 47 looking for somebody to stay with him. It's him that's gone. 47, 147 for eight. Ian Bradshaw walking slowly to the pitch here. Not in a big hurry to get out there, let me tell you. And he has made a first-class 100. But at this level, one day international cricket, the average is eight. The strike rate of 53. England are on top here in the final here at the Oval. Watch the ball. That nearly on the stumps. Oh, gee. Not enough pace to knock the bales off, I wouldn't have thought. But he didn't know where he'd have gone. Worf has done pretty well for England here. Seven overs, none for 20. Outside edge, that might go for four. And it has. That's the 150 up, folks. They're not out of it. Not yet. They need 66, the West Indies. They've limped along to 152 for eight. Thick outside edge. There is a slip in, but it's gone wide and it's raced away. Well, it raced away. Went for the full ball. It was just a little wide. It's all Brown needed. Well, it's punched away. It's a full toss and it's four runs. Seven from the over. Nothing even big from Solanka could do about that. It's 178 for eight. to run well he's given no single there he thinks he's hit it take a look at this they'll be looking at the big screen captain and bowler ball of full length Flintoff where's it going look at the angle he doesn't go forward he doesn't go back is it sliding down leg side is it going to hit middle and leg Well, the umpires are conferred here. They're talking about light. It's got very dark here, folks. Even the jumbo trying on the screen here. It's got quite bright here. And one feels that the players want to finish it tonight. The players want to finish it here tonight. The batsmen are knocked it back. Everyone's applauding. The skipper's saying, come on, you're in the groove now, you two. You're playing well. Well done. This is good common sense by everyone. Oh, lovely shot. And they'll get one. They'll get more. It might go away for four, and it will. Great shot. Bradshaw's number ten, batting like a number three or four. There's the pressure on Michael Vaughan. Look at the joy of West Indies spectators. Magnificent shot. Absolutely brilliant. They're not out of this. In the slot. Short and wide. Even if he is number ten, he knocks this away, Bradshaw. Look at these West Indies fans. It's pitch black out there. Well, he's seen it like a football. Outside edge. Got it fine. And look, look for two. And they'll get them. Good piece of running. Brilliant. 22 for 29 now. Quick single on the leg side. Oh, mature stuff. These two. That's the 50 partnership. What a great effort between Brown and Bradshaw. They really play well. That'll be a wide, I think it's given. Extras. Have they had a good day today? Pull shot, they'll only get one. That's the 200. By G, they've played well. They, they just won't give up. And it's a record partnership here. For the West Indies previous best was 52 on it between Walsh and Ambrose can you believe that nice shot down the ground they'll get at least one looking for two no it's only one well fielded 
He's still up there, Darren Goff. He's still looking to hit the stumps. Hit the stumps, hit the pads. It's not been his day. I mentioned earlier, he will not shirk. Responsibility is his, the most experienced bowler. But has Michael Vaughan gone for broke? All his best bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> Full delivery, I'll get at least one, it might go, it's a no ball as well, so it's an extra single, so they get three from it, oh, that's a big miss, again, the extras, big hit, it's gone, over, backward square, it's gone for four, Michael Holding, you got what you wanted, you're listening to Holding, they're listening to the whistles. Look at this crowd. Five to win from nine. Brown is pouncing on England here. Brown has gone to 34. Full of pitch delivery. Chance for a run out. No, oh, one more. So they need four from eight. Oh, beautiful shot. It's, it's gone. They have won it. What a victory. What a magnificent victory for the West Indies. Gutsy effort. Oh, you feel sorry for the England boys, but brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just look at these scenes here. They're doing all sorts of things. They'll not have a clue what they're doing. What a game of cricket that has been. England, West Indies. England winning the game, hands down. But Bradshaw and Brown, they're under there somewhere. There's not anybody left this ground. It's late September in England. They said you can't play cricket at this time. Have a look at that. They didn't deserve to lose this. They worked very hard. Commiserations to those boys. They played well. Well, there's winners and losers. Look at these boys. They've won an epic game. It's been a magnificent game of cricket. England 2-1-7, West Indies have sneaked up on them. 218 for eight, courtesy of Courtney Brown and Ian Bradshaw. A lap of honour. Spare a thought, yes, for England. But it's a game of cricket. Don't forget that West Indies could have gone off. They were offered the light. What a decision. They haven't a clue what they're doing, but they're celebrating. Well, let's have a look at the West Indies there. 218 for eight. Gale got 23. Lara, 14. Charnapal played very well for 47. Then a few guys missed out. Then Crown, uh, Brown and Bradshaw, 35 and 34 respectively. Extras, 35. Nine, 19 wides, five no balls. And there it is. Oh, what a wonderful effort there. Snares the England bowling car there. Darren Goff wasn't on song at all today. No wicket for 58 off his 10. Harmison really tried hard. Got two for 34. Flint off. He bowled brilliant. Bowled his heart out today. Three for 38. Wolf bowled pretty well too. No wicket for 38. One for 17 for Truscothic. And two wickets for Paul Collingwood also chipped in there. About 35 extras. There's the match summary. England lost the toss. Was sent in. Made 217. Truscothic played brilliantly. Got a brilliant 104. Great bowling from Wavell Hines, 3 for 24, and West Indies in reply. Well, one of the greatest efforts of all time in one day international cricket. 218 for 8 after being 183 for 8 and offered the light, and uh, they knocked it back. And those two guys there, Brown and Bradshaw, they can stand up. The two Bs, 35 and 34 respectively. The West Indies here, the winners for 2004 by two wickets.